A wide search underway for that Fresno City College police officer's gun. Police say that he lost it about 7 o'clock last night when he fell down while assisting Fresno police in chasing down three teens who had stolen a car near the campus. Rhett Rodriguez alive now at the Fresno City College. And Rhett, you're in the parking structure where police did spend hours today combing the area in hopes to find that gun. Alexon police spent most of last night combing this parking lot over here in this area. They say the police officer was chasing the teen. He fell down, then he got back up and began chasing the team again. And after that, he then realized his gun was gone, came back in the area to look for it, and then it was no longer there. Huge safety concern, not only for our campus community here at Fresno City, but also the general public, because this is a police grade weapon it was fully loaded, therefore someone out there took a police weapon. Fresno City College Police Chief Jose Flores describes the seriousness of the situation after someone found the officer's 9mm handgun Wednesday night. The parking structure, which is a new structure, has multiple uh, cameras, but none captured, one, the fall, and two, who, who took the weapon. A concerned parent reached out to us today saying her child was never notified that an officer's gun was missing. Students only received these two messages. One at 7:11 p.m. saying there would be officers on campus assisting Fresno PD. And the other at 8:19 p.m. that police are on campus looking for three juveniles, but campus is safe. We talked with other concerned students today. Yes, I didn't know that there was a gun missing. I would have known that there wasn't there was a gun on the loose that somebody picked up. I probably would not have come today. When asked why an alert didn't go out to students about the missing gun, Chief Flores told me they decided to send out a media release instead hoping the media release could reach more people. That press release came into our newsroom at 1040 last night. Today, the chief says campus is safe and the gun is likely no longer there. I think it's still on campus. We believe whoever took it left. And now they are asking for anyone with information to please come forward. I said if they voluntarily come and, and return the weapon, no questions asked. If the person who took the gun doesn't turn it in, and gets caught with it, they will be arrested. If you are in possession of a stolen weapon, it is a felony in the state of California. And the name of that officer involves has not yet been released, but we do know he is a sergeant with the police department and has multiple years of law enforcement history.